Hello everybody, my name is Alec Kriebel from the iOS Genius Channel, the channel that you're watching right now. Today what we're, what we're going to be doing is uh, using a custom, or creating a custom UI stepper. So, you've probably seen the standard UI stepper in um, a bunch of apps. It's just a, um, a little gray thing that has a plus and a minus. Um, and most things that Apple creates, they let you customize it. Um, so you can put an image in. So for example, right here, these buttons, the things that I'm pressing, the up and down arrow, they're just buttons with an image uh, in place of the standard custom, uh, the standard uh, rect button. Um, but Apple doesn't let you do that for a UI stepper. So today we're going to be showing you how to make a custom UI stepper. Um, this does not deal anything with the UI stepper class. Uh, it's completely custom. Um, we're going to be using two IB actions and just some work with integers. Um, and as you can see, uh, our minimum value is 0 and our maximum value is 10. The only uh, resource, resource you're going to need for this is uh, two images. And I just chose a, an up arrow and a down arrow for that. Before you get back to the video, I work as a freelance app developer. You can email me right here and we can get started on your project. Alright, we're going to start off this project by creating a new project. I'm just going to call this Custom Slider or Stepper. And we are not going to use Tess and I will use Storyboards for this. Now that we have that started, let's start off by going to our ViewController.h and declaring some things. Uh, first thing we want to do is create two IB actions. One is going to give us a, a plus function. So if we're at zero, or let's say we're if we're at one, our plus function would give us plus one, and our and our, our minus function will give us uh, a minus one. So I'm going to start off by going dash open parenthesis IB action and parenthesis up and then end that with a semicolon and dash open parenthesis IB action down and I'm going to do colon ID sender um, we're going to need to declare a label so IB outlet UI label star number label Ooh, whoops I accidentally made the A uppercase and then we want int and then I'm just going to name this number this will be the actual number that we're going to be able to display this is the number that we're going to step up and down now we're just going to save that and start our code so dash IB action IB action up And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but when you try to do ID senders or something, it always puts two there. I believe that's a bug. And then we're just going to quick do the uh, IB action for down real quick. So close that with curly brackets. Now we aren't getting our implementation warning. So the way we're doing this is with an if and else statement. So if open parenthesis we named our int number if number is equal to now this right here is what we would call our maximum value in the UI stepper um, so if we want our max number to be 10 we would obviously put 10 there and then we'd open it with curly brackets and in here we want nothing I'll tell you why in a minute. And then after that else, open another curly bracket and then do number plus plus because this is the up statement. And then after that, we want open square bracket number label set text open square bracket ns string string with format colon 
at sign open quote parenthesis D end quote comma number and end that with two square brackets and then a semicolon uh, we're getting an error here let me check out what that is I spelled in a string wrong haha <laughs> um, all right so let me explain what this code it means before we um, before we go on to the down step value um, when we hit we're gonna label we're gonna link this to a button so if our number which is our integer that we created is equal to 10 we don't want it to do anything because that's our maximum value um, so if it is already in the maximum value we don't want it to go up anymore because that's the max value else number plus plus which is just add a number to it so this statement is saying if the number is 10 don't do anything but if it's not 10 add to it now this code down here is um, all it is doing is setting the the label that is going to be displaying our our number the number that we're stepping up and down um, to our number label so it's just saying when the IB action is pressed set our label to our number that we've just stepped up or down now pretty much we're going to do the same thing for our down except uh, it'll be a little bit different so if open parenthesis number equals 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 zero because we don't want it to get into the negatives um, if it's zero we don't want it to do anything like um, like up in the up step um, we don't want it to go below zero so if the number is zero don't do anything um, and then we want else open curly bracket and then in here pretty much we want number minus minus it's almost the exact same thing as above except we changed our number we don't want our m number to move below zero and uh, we want our number to uh, subtract when we press this IB action now we want to do the same thing here so I'm just going to copy this code to display our number and boom so now we're going to go into our storyboard or if you're using an XIB file uh, just you can go into uh, interface builder um, and I'm going to just make this a standard iPhone size real quick so what we want is our label this is our uh, label that's going to display our number so I'm just going to center that real quick um, and mess with the height. Um, and I'm going to delete label so it's uh, so it's not there. I'm going to center it. And just to make it look pretty, we're going to make it system bold. And uh, that's all we should need. And just center that real quick. And we want two buttons. One button for up and one button for down so this is this is the bulk of the tutorial um, as, I, as I've said before that you can't really customize uh, the UI steppers Apple doesn't have that in there yet that's kind of a uh, almost a bug but not really maybe they wanted it that way either way um, I have two arrows right here up.png and down.png I'm just going to drag that in my folder I'm going to copy items into destinations group folder just so that I can move from my desktop then and they're in the projects folder. Hit finish. And I'm going to set this button, the background image, to up.png. And real quick, I'm going to remove button so it doesn't say that. And I'm going to change, I'm going to delete button right here and then change the background image to down.png. So now we have an up and down step right here. Um, we need to go to our view controller and then link number label to our label right here down to our down arrow and we're gonna do touch up inside and um, we're gonna link up to our up arrow now if you want you can do touch down so when the user presses the button it will auto it will go right then but if we do touch up inside that is when the user presses down with their finger and then and once they let go is when the action will trigger so now let's run this. All right, so here we have our up and down arrow. When we hit up, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, and we stop at 10. Um, 
because as you've seen in the code right here once we get to 10 we don't want to do anything now in fact if you really wanted to you could have another label and you could say right there um, 10 is the max value and then we can do our down step right here and it stops at 0 because right here we say if it's 0 we don't want it to, en to do anything so that's how to make a custom label um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, have a nice day